the first thing that parents need to remember about the whole issue of potty training is to make sure that they relax and understand that as parents they can have a lot of influence and manage the process but they're not going to control the process. We're looking at this as one of many challenges that the child is going to face in which they're establishing some aspect of their independence. And so by taking a very personalized approach to each individual child and recognizing how that child ticks, kind of what their underlying personality is, we can take advantage of those traits that help us motivate them and move them along, but also avoid those things where we're inevitably going to get into a clash that becomes counterproductive to the process. So you want to think about those methods, strategies that are helpful for practically any child. And so one being the same gender parent needs to do some role modeling. You know, as, as uncomfortable as that may be having your child watch you use the bathroom, it's important to have the same gender parent as often as possible model that behavior so that the child can start to cognitively understand what this process is all about. As the parent is modeling that, oftentimes that will clue the child in as to what the process is about, but also start to give them some motivation to want to be like mom or dad. We use the term reward in a way where oftentimes parents will think, well, I give him something. You know, I want to give him an M&M or I want to give him a sticker. And those things are all fine, but I think parents should always remember that you're not substituting the sticker or the M&M for your positive regard as a parent. And so your first method of trying to reinforce that child when they sit on the potty, let's say, or when they actually use the potty or when they show some interest, is to simply praise that child in a way that's meaningful to that child and that really kind of presses that happy button for them. For both boys and girls when they're entering potty training, you know, the general process of how the parent is going to interact with the child is basically the same. Now you may get a girl that's going to potty train a little bit quicker than a boy will, but the overall process of making sure that the child is ready in terms of understanding what the process is, having some words for the process, showing some interest in doing it, those are kinds of things that are just universal to boys and girls when they're kind of entering this stage. The same with reinforcing the behavior that you want to see. You know, if you're going to give nice praise statements to your child, that's going to be universal to boys and girls. And then beyond role modeling, you know, just having children practice sitting on the potty, that's going to be universal to boys and girls. I think an inevitable part of potty training for practically any child is an accident during or after the process. You know, we certainly don't want to be punitive. This is not a time when you want to make a big fuss about that. Instead, you want to just treat it as a very matter of fact thing that happens. It's part of the process, no different than any other part of the potty training process. And so as a parent, you want to be relaxed about it. You want to clean it up. You want to get your child involved in the cleanup and then simply move on forward. And then make sure that you're going back and reinforcing all of those successes that they're inevitably having in between the accidents. So if we take a relaxed and strategic approach to this developmental challenge for our children, it can serve as a model for future developmental milestones that every child is going to face.